This video we're gonna go ahead and install Windows 2012 or Windows Server 2012. I think it's R2 nowadays. I, I don't even know what it, where it's at now, but um, I have it downloaded. We're gonna install it on VirtualBox in Mac OS 10. It's the same, it's pretty much the same process for Windows or Linux. If you wanna see how we got to this point, go ahead and watch this video let's here. See. Let's just make sure it's going to the right one. Yep, check it out. And uh, you'll be up to speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch VirtualBox. And you can see we got the Windows 2012 VM set up, but we don't have it really, we don't have it installed yet. We just basically made the shell, I guess you could call it, in VirtualBox. Um, I'm not gonna do anything in the configuration here for this one. Let's just go ahead and start it now. It's been a while since I've done this, so um, I'm not gonna edit out all the junk that I mess up on or anything. So here we go. Please select the virtual opti optical disk. So basically the ISO I downloaded, my cats are always tearing something up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and find the ISO that I downloaded. It, it is on my external drive, VM drive, ISO. Um, it is server eval. I think it's this one here. I think I have the code somewhere. Hopefully I still have it as a screenshot or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna select that ISO, hit start, and we'll let it boot up. There it goes, loading files. So we're on the right track. Um, I'll probably start editing out some of this stuff just because it's a time consuming thing. Okay, we're at the um, installation part. We're gonna go ahead and leave it default, next, and install now. And setup is starting. All right, so let's see. Windows Server 2012 R2 standard eval. What else we got here? Server core, no, I don't want the core. Let's do with the GUI. Data set, we don't need data center. We're gonna do standard evaluation server with a GUI. Next. Accept, next. We're gonna do a custom install. Select the 25 gig that we set aside. All right, so after a couple reboots, um, looks like we're here, wants us to create a password for the default administrator user account. So I'm just gonna, I don't know something that I typically use for practice. Finish. And we're there. I mean, that's pretty easy. Uh, control delete to log in. So it's somewhere over here. Insert control delete. Let's type in our password. I can't type my password. All right, seriously, um, these days installing Windows, whether it's a server or Windows 8, it's really easy compared to what it used to be like back in the days, so. All right, do we wanna find PCs and device? Nah, I don't wanna do all that. And, my dog, server manager's gonna load. And we're ready to configure. We can, we're ready to set this thing up as a domain controller and all that goodness. But um, I think for this video, we're just gonna stop it here. So stay tuned for more.